Hi everyone, I'm Angie Kellen and we're really excited to be at CES 2023. I'm here with Visa, which is the Video Electronic Standards Association, and joining me is Roland Wooster. Hello, Roland. Hi. So I see that we have the Display HDR logo, and can you tell me about the program and who all is involved in it? Yeah, so the program is the first logo and standards program that we developed as part of the Performance Metrics Work Group. And this was something we launched at CES in 2018. So we're five years on. We have over a thousand certified products now wow. from practically everybody in the display industry. We have all of the TCON, the Scalar, the panel manufacturers, the ODMs, the OEMs, practically everybody is involved. And we have a, a tremendous wealth of products now. Well, Roland, looking at all these monitors outside of size, what's different about them? Yeah, so this is your traditional SDR display. And this is what most people have. Now, maybe you have a slightly larger SDR display, but you can see that the, the contrast ratio is not great. Compared to these other displays, that's gonna be your primary difference with SDR versus HDR, is the contrast ratio is lower. It looks washed out by comparison. The colors are much more muted. The highlights, it doesn't represent the highlights and the specular uh, reflections that you see the, in real life that on these displays, they do a far, far better, far superior job of representing specular highlights and reflections and make it look much more realistic. And so we have a number of standards uh, up from, from a 400 level up to 1400 level within the program. So Roland, if I was to be a consumer and wanting to buy one of these, which one would be appropriate for me? It would depend a lot on what your application is. Uh, if you were a gamer, I would suggest the 600 level is a great level to start looking at. Um, it, it, it provides local dimming. It has a fantastic color gamut. It's got 600 nits of luminance, which will be a lot more than your SDR display. It's a, it's a good price point. And I, I would say it's the perfect place for a gamer to start looking. If you're a content creator, and particularly if you're doing content creation, video content creation, I would say as a consumer, you should start looking at the 1000 level. Uh, it's a, there is a price premium, but if you are doing video content creation, you have to grade HDR video content at 1,000 nits. And if you don't have a 1,000 nit display, how are you going to do it? You're going to be grading blind. And the 1,400 level, that's a professional level. If, if, if the, the costs are significantly higher, but it is an outstanding level of performance and Almost no content that you throw at it will push the monitor to its limits. And it's a, it's a fantastic, and, and the color gamma is greater as well in the 1400 tier. So really supreme solution for content creation. Well, CES is over and we all learned how exciting standards can be. So thanks to Visa, we look forward to all the innovations coming out this year and what they're gonna to bring to CES next year. See you next time.